Fish are friends when they need food. The coral grouper is a medium-sized fish that can be up to 20 inches long. They are not built to travel long distances, squeeze into small spaces, or smash coral, so their hunting strategy relies on using small bursts of speed to capture their prey in open water. The giant moray eel is the largest eel species and can reach up to 9.8 feet in length. Its hunting strategy relies on using its flexible body to maneuver into small crevices to capture its prey. Now, what do these two fish have to do with each other? The coral grouper teams up with the giant moray eel to work together and hunt prey it is incapable of capturing on its own. How does a grouper communicate such a complicated request to a fish of a different species? Like this! The grouper shimmies its entire body horizontally in front of the eel to team up for hunting. The shimmy is the grouper's way of saying, follow me. It will repeatedly shimmy until the eel joins in. If the eel does not join in, the grouper will move on to another eel. When the eel leaves the shelter and joins the grouper, the grouper leads it to the location the prey, which it failed to catch alone, has hidden. Once at this location, the grouper will swim vertically, facing downward, over the prey's hidden spot and shimmy its head to indicate the location to the eel. It will continue to shimmy until the eel arrives. Once the eel arrives at the scene, the grouper can sit back and wait for either the eel to claim the prize or the eel to run the prey into open water, where the grouper will capture it. This is a food signal. The grouper communicates the location of the prey item by finding and capturing the attention of an eel, recruiting that eel, and leading the eel to the site of the hidden prey which the eel can attempt to capture. In a controlled experiment using an artificial reef and two fake paper eels, scientists saw that the grouper would recruit the eel that was most competent. If the eel helped the grouper capture prey and the other eel did not, the grouper would recruit the eel that he would benefit most from. The communication is mutualistic. The grouper and the eel are both more likely to catch prey when the other is present. If the eel captures the prey, then the eel benefits. If the eel scares the prey out to an area where the grouper can capture it, then the grouper benefits. The communication is motivated by hunger. As evidence, the grouper would not recruit the eel if it has already eaten.